Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler. Let's talk about a few complementary therapies for rheumatoid arthritis, which I think uh, you should know about. One in this video we'll talk about specifically is the use of a medication called tetracycline. Um, and more currently is another medication in that family of antibiotics called minocycline. Now there's an organization called Roadback. If you go to roadback.org, roadback.org, um, that's a website that's dedicated to complementary information, complementary medical information with respects to rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune connective tissue type disorders. And a lot of the um, information you'll learn is based on um, an individual, an old time doctor, um, through, there's a book called The New Arthritis Breakthrough, which this Dr. McPherson had actually used on thousands of individuals with connective tissue disorders, inflammatory disorders, rheumatoid arthritis, cyclical doses of tetracycline. And tetracycline is an, a type of antibiotic that tends to affect certain type of bacteria which are thought to be a trigger for these types of autoimmune inflammatory conditions. And he had tremendous success over the years treating individuals with cyclical doses of tetracycline um, to the point where either their disease condition completely went away, went into remission, or just greatly improved, allowing them to get off their immune suppressive drugs. Now, like any therapy, it's not 100% effective for 100% of the people, but um, it's an important treatment intervention to look at because it's a simple intervention. Um, it's a cheap medication, uh, and it can be incredibly effective. And I've seen many individuals in my practice with documented rheumatoid arthritis, or at least a suspicion of RA, do quite well with cyclical doses of minocycline, which is similar to tetracycline. Um, and it's an ongoing therapy, something that they're doing on a weekly basis. And some people need to use it for six months, others for a year, and sometimes, you know, it's many, you know, many years of needing this therapy. Um, but it's well tolerated, minimal side effects, um, and it's very inexpensive. And one of the things that I have found, um, and what Dr. McPherson has also talked about, is that many of these individuals who are responding to the minocycline, there clearly is um, suspicion and certainly evidence in many cases on testing of some type of chronic infection. So take a look at roadback.org. You can also read the book, The New Arthritis Breakthrough. Um, and certainly contact my office if you'd like to con consult more regarding your specific condition, what testing is important, and what the different protocols are in using minocycline for rheumatoid arthritis intervention. Thanks.